The spirit and values of Emily Ann Tuttle reflect those of Junior League founder Mary Harriman. They have shaped Emily Ann's lifetime of service to the community and created long-lasting positive change. Meet Emily Ann Tuttle. My primary motivation is to make the world a better place to live in. The three words that best describe Emily Ann are, I would say smart, high energy, dedication, a smiling face. She is a role model, radiant, she's a silo breaker, she is an advocate, commitment, positive attitude, and inspiring, joyful in everything she does, enthusiasm, and she is a true servant leader. And I am gonna add a fourth word, charm. Emily Ann is a role model not only for myself, as an acting president of the Junior League of Minneapolis, but also for all of our membership and all young women in the community. She has been a member of the Junior League for over 56 years as an active member and sustainer member, and one can only aspire to do as much as she has during her membership tenure. Emily Ann's trailblazing efforts were always focused on improving the lives and the welfare of women and children. What is nice is that that's the exact same mission that we have today. My mother was very fortunate to have the Junior League as a platform, a platform to learn how to work with individuals, to be collaborative, to hone her leadership skills. And those took her a long, long way, whether it be in government, in leading nonprofit organizations, or purely in bringing people together. She's a trailblazer. She came into her full bloom of leadership at a time when women were really trying to find their way. And she's inspired a tremendous number of women. She's done it gracefully, she's done it respectfully, and she always achieves what she sets out to accomplish. She moved from making coffee and stuffing envelopes in a political campaign to running for office herself. And she did it at a time when it was very unusual for a woman to want to run for public office. She had been so involved in the community and so many aspects of the community throughout my entire life. And so it seemed a natural progression for her to take that to a different level and be able to be a true leader for the state of Minnesota. She was the only Democratic woman in the state Senate when I was in elected office. Emily was the person you went to for the lead on issues related to women. She was our focal point when she was in the state Senate. Emily, over the years, has been passionate about getting women elected to public office. Emily was always in the forefront of organizing for women, and she's the first person you will call who is so generous with her time and money to support women candidates. As a leader, Emily Ann has encouraged those who work with her to do some rather good things. She's never been the, the person who dominates or tries to impose her will. She leads by example and by encouragement. Emily Ann wants everybody to be a leader and she sees leadership in everyone. So what she will do is she will set the stage and then she will back off and let you be in the limelight. Emily Ann continues to work for the good of your community, whether in politics, whether in uh, art, whether in foreign policy. She has contributed and continued to contribute to the positive approach of this community. Now I'm here tonight to honor and celebrate a real force of nature in Minnesota, Emily Ann Tuttle. Her resume is incredibly impressive. She was elected Minnesota's first female Democratic state senator in 1977. It's a campaign I remember well because I was 17 years old and it was the first campaign I worked on. She is deeply committed to making the world around her a better place, both for women and for everyone. Her commitment and her will are steely, 
but her personality is also relentlessly positive and energetic. Isaac Newton once said, if I have seen further, it is only by standing on the shoulders of giants. And as the first woman U.S. Senator from the great state of Minnesota, I know very well that I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. I'm standing on the shoulders of Emily Ann Tuttle. My mother has been a mentor to so many people. She's been a role model for so many more people. People know her name, they love her, and they see her as just an integral part of this community. Inspired to make the world a better place, Emily Ann Staples Tuttle has opened doors wide so all may enter behind her. Congratulations, Mom. Congratulations, Miss Emily. Congratulations, Emily Ann. Congratulations, Emily Ann. We're all so proud of you. <laughs>